Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, 23rd of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the, w at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Uh, be sure to visit www.tradesignal.com as well. Okay, Asian markets certainly routed over now, the concerns of um, uh, geopolitical tensions via China's trade war and obviously the situation in North Korea. Mr. Trump stating uh, that uh, the, uh, the, the the actual meeting may not go ahead and therefore obviously raises concerns uh, regarding Mr. President Xi and Mr. Uh, obviously uh, Kim Jong-un and uh, the uh, so-called bilateral relationship there or trilateral relationship, whether or not it's going to succeed. So again, that causes concerns. Adding the fact that you've got the Iranian situation in the background as well, which again obviously exacerbates the problem. Adding the fact that oil prices certainly are lofty heights. Uh, I think we've actually retraced back from 72 now. Just under 72. In terms of the China potential China versus US trade war, again, that certainly isn't resolved either. With Mr. Trump commenting that he's not happy uh, in terms of making improvements or progress there as well. So again, cause for concern. Okay, so those two factors, markets have been factoring, factoring those two as being resolved, and that obviously certainly was a U-turn yesterday. Uh, in terms of uh, economic data out today, then this morning we've had UK inflation numbers certainly on the weaker side. Uh, again, that certainly is helping the FTSE remain afloat. Uh, in terms of the European data, we've got uh, French uh, unemployment rising, uh, market PMIs for Germany and France certainly on the weaker side as well. So again, cause for concern there. Okay, in terms of the technical picture then, given the fact that we've got that backdrop, the German DAX certainly has uh, been routed, uh, given the fact that the pivot high there at 13,200, I think we reached yesterday. Certainly a, a sharp retrace, almost a 250-point retrace from that pivot high. So quite an impressive sell-off, to say the least. The uh, support zone is back, is being tested again around the 12,940 zone. So let's see how far we move further lower. Again, it's a bearish engulfing candle, so quite an impressive reversal there. On the daily chart, where previous support equals resistance. In terms of the French CAC, French CAC certainly routed as well. Uh, daily chart you can see here retesting the breakout level let's see if it can hold that now okay 10 minute chart at the moment certainly butchered too as you can see it's been quite a substantial sell-off uh, given the fact that we've had a lull and the markets have constantly been moving higher over the last few days so quite an impressive sell-off there as well okay in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 let's see exactly what's going on here in the weekly chart still it's a potential topping tail forming there so watch out there in terms of the daily chart on the FTSE, a bearish engulfing candle, but still above that breakout at 7, 790. So provided you remain above that, the, the bullish argument certainly holds. And given the fact that you've got weaker inflation numbers as well, certainly take that into consideration too. 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment, we've certainly flushed. We're back into that support zone. We have actually pivoted lower, so bear that in mind. We've actually broken that potential support now, so again, remains vulnerable. Uh, unfilled gap will remain at 7880 and then obviously you've got double top at 7902 so watch out for those two zones you still have the unfilled gap below at 7780 let's see if we can close that today do we or do we not okay given the fact that you've had weaker inflation numbers one would expect that uh, to um, certainly remain open and a potential pivot towards that uh, unfilled gap above at 7880 Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European indices at present, certainly under pressure via China trade war, North Korean concerns, and also we've got concerns regarding Italy, but they've been there for over a week now, and the market certainly seems to be materialising them now. In terms of the European markets, please be sure to visit cfds.com to take advantage of that bonus, and be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.